Hi. 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 She starts recording right when it's like the, the complicated, curvy part of the road. Welcome back to our channel. We're Chloe and Matthew, two wine-loving foodies who have set out to explore the world one bite, sip or slurp at a time. In this series, we're visiting every iconic wine region in Australia to get a lowdown on the juice, the people and what makes it special. I don't have to drive today. What's odd about this shot? This is a different one. It's backwards. This is really hard for me to do because my sunglasses are polarized, so I can't see you guys. So if it's crooked, it's, it's her fault stuff. So. And I'm wearing his hat, so it's like really deceiving. It's really weird. <laughs> so where are we going, baby? Now we're our first winery in Eden. Drink some wine. See you there. The property was already named Puna Water, mm -hmm. so we thought we'd just name the wine brand Puna Water. But then yeah. looking into the history side of things, finally found uh, an Aboriginal elder and he said, Well, I've been waiting for your phone call. Oh, wow. And he said, His great grandmother, great great grandmother, used to walk his hand. Mm. Wow. Yeah. See that scar, how that's got a scar? Yeah. And it's been cut out. So that would have been either, he said, either kids' canoe or a couple of hand baskets would have been made from the, the bark. Cool, let's try some wines. Puna Water Vineyard is a second generation family winery focused around their crown jewel, a Shiraz vineyard planted in 1880. We're back in normal, our normal spots now. Puna Water! Puna Water. Puna Water! such an interesting story like I love the way that they've kept that Aboriginal name and kind of recognition two cute winery dogs which you know is always points Charlie. on my behalf and the wines were just really like you can tell that they really focus on quality on sourcing the best fruit their Eden Valley Riesling was definitely a highlight we picked up a bottle of that that was a really cool little cellar door to check out. Definitely put it on your list. So what we've understood so far about the Eden Valley is that it doesn't really have a big name. Like people in Adelaide have never even heard of it before. So it'd be really nice to bring some recognition to this region and show you guys some producers who are doing some really great things. Yep. Some great fruit. So where are we headed now? Flaxman. Let's go. They look like grandma plants. Grandma. I'm not. I'm saying they look like grandma plants. It's not negative. Grandmas have like grandma. grandmas have the best plants. Actually, I think both my grandmas had those plants. <laughs> it's like a maze of flowers. Hi. Hello. How are you going? Good. How are you? Very well. Hello. You have the most adorable little garden. Oh, thanks! We love it. Oh, that's so lovely. <laughs> this is our uh, Riesling, which was planted in 1929, and it's just from the vineyard out the front here. 62% Shiraz, 38% Okay, I would never have guessed that. Normally, if I knew he wasn't coming back, I would have just guessed it. Yeah. <laughs> you just threw a number out. I mean, most of it doesn't matter. So she usually goes from 60-40 because that's you know, probably, probably the most common version. Cole purchased this vineyard planted in 1929 without telling his wife, Fee, until after the deal was struck. They've now made it 19 vintages, putting out some killer Eden Valley wines. Camera woman to cameraman. 
help you? Yes. I'm hungry and thirsty. So the good thing about wine regions is they usually have awesome produce. The start of the Eden Valley at Mount Pleasant, no, Mount Pleasant. Hmm, Matthew's gonna have to correct me on this one. Uh, farmer's Market, Mount Pleasant, that's not right. <laughs> Mount Pleasant, maybe. Um, so we're gonna check it out, see if they've got, whether they've got some good coffees, bacon, all the good things. Let's go. The Mount Pleasant Market, located at the junction of the Barossa, Adelaide Hills, and the Murraylands, pulls from the best of all regions to supply amazing produce and local groceries to members and visitors. This isn't a large market, but it has a pretty amazing range of food. What did you just say? If you get pumpkin spice in your coffee, I'm leaving you in the park. <laughs> Why? Because it's basic? Basic. Very judgmental. How many of you know this? <laughs> it's a vegetarian one. Well, that's a traditional sweet. This one, the mate, that's a traditional. And uh, the mate, like this, and the vegetarian, like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Pomegranate and orange for me. Fruit salad for Matthew. One for later. And free coffees. Thanks to our membership and our friend Ashley at Hentley Park. Thank you, Ashley. 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 Spicy. Like spiced. Um, Very kombucha ahi. Like vinegar? Yeah. That means it's good for you. It means it will be good for your gut. That's nice. Give me food then. Sometimes sharing is a good idea and sometimes it's not so much of a good idea. I don't want to get a two of these because I want to be able to get something else to try them. Oh yeah, that's kombucha. That's real kombucha. These fruits is the one that that's the pears we had. Oh yeah. My mum and dad farmed back in the 1960s. So they're really old trees, but the fruit is just Thank amazing you. that was back on those old trees. The next morning. So it's a little bit interesting that the people of the Barossa Valley don't really even make it up the hill to Eden, like what, 15, 20 minutes away. But that's okay because we're doing it and we're going to show off the Eden Valley for you. Now we are heading to, where are we going right now? Uh, we're going to go to Eden May. Don't really know much about it except that it looks like a really cute cellar door and a few people have recommended that we go there. It's on the very other end of the valley, so let's go check it out. Eden May is a first generation winery located at the southern end of the Eden Valley. All woman run, it's a great spot to sit down and taste through some amazing elegant wines while chatting with the locals wandering in and out for a glass themselves. Last but not least on our Eden Valley stop, where are we today? Henschke. Henschke, the one and only Henschke. Let's go. Okay. Mm.
Penske was our last stop on the Eden Valley tour. Unfortunately, we weren't allowed to record audio of our tasting. Penske has a long history of winemaking in the Eden Valley and a well-earned reputation for excellence. Not a bad way to top off our visit. And a couple of vintages of the Mount Edelstone Shiraz being opened didn't hurt either. No hell of grace on this trip though. Okie dokie peeps. That pretty much sums up our trip around Eden. All in all, Eden pretty damn decent. Eden's fun. Eden's just freaking stunning. It's so beautiful. It's a little bit more untouched. This concludes Eden, guys. So thank you so much for coming along this journey with us. Make sure you like and subscribe if you want to follow along. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Bye. Watch for our next video when we head north to the Clare Valley as we compare the different styles of Riesling coming from Watervale and the Polish Hill River. Make sure to like and subscribe below so you can join us.